And more now on one of the uh, other major stories we're covering here on Al Jazeera, the crisis in Egypt, of course, uh, where the military has ordered former President Hazi Mubarak to be placed under house arrest from prison. Joining me now live is Mohamed Dadawi. He's a professor of political science at Oklahoma City University. I thank you very much for being on uh, Al Jazeera. So, first of all, what, what do you make of the timing of this decision? And, you know, given the current political context in Egypt, do you think the military has a hand in all this? I don't think the military, I mean, given all the, uh, what we've known since July 3rd, the military has probably overplayed its hand at this point. Uh, I think this is clearly uh, ill-timed, I think even by those uh, apologists uh, for, for the military in Egypt. I, I think it's, it's devastating for, especially for the January 25th, uprising and from the very beginning we didn't think this was a, a transformational revolution because it was orchestrated what's happened since July uh, 3rd and uh, with the coup uh, orchestrated in order to wrestle authority from the Muslim Brotherhood and to, and to appease the Egyptian street by, co by co-opted liberal uh, you know, secular elements in an act uh, of, of, of dissonance. Uh, and, and in order to out, uh, control the outcome of the transition in, in Egypt. But I think this is a, a major, I think this is a major military blunder that would probably test that odd uh, alliance that the military has with liberal secular right. elements in Egypt of Tamarud and April 6th, April, April 6th movement. As you say, many anti-Mubarak people sided and applauded the military's decision to depose Mohammed Morsi and crack down on the Muslim Brotherhood. Could this uh, latest mm -hmm. decision uh, test this support or do, you, or do you think public opinion in, in, in Egypt has moved on and nobody really cares what happens to Mubarak today? Mm -hmm. well, well, what's strange right now, we haven't heard much of, from, uh, from the so-called liberal seculars in Egypt except for Ahmed Maher of April 6th. I think I saw some, uh, what he termed as a shock uh, at, the, at the news of the, uh, this mild incarceration of Mubarak, you know, moving him from prison to, to house arrest. And, and I think, you know, the next couple of days will test really the resolve of, of both, uh, you know, the seculars and the military and see, uh, you know, if this release uh, would be actually that, uh, you know, final uh, nail in, in the coffin of this alliance. My hunch is that a lot of them have, have cowed into, uh, you know, uh, uh, in obedience of the military right now because of the crackdown and the repressive tactics that the military have used uh, in the last, uh, you know, couple of weeks. Uh, but I think this is, uh, this is tremendous, uh, uh, I think, news in the context that it would change probably dynamics of that particular uh, uh, alliance uh, between, between the two. And the, I think the uh, more concern that I think we have is the fear of violence, that this thing could get out of hand mm. given the fragile uh, security situation in state now in, in, in Egypt. And uh, not fear of violence from the Muslim Brotherhood because I think they've shown a, lot, a great deal of uh, uh, I mean, frankly, of, 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 uh, of, of decision in terms of, in, in the face of violence, but from fringe elements in the Muslim Brotherhood, and we've heard about the Sinai Peninsula incident and so on, uh, this could easily, I would say, escalate into uh, an Algerian scenario a la 1990s. Okay, thank you very much. It's certainly very worrying situation in Egypt. Thank you for talking to us, Mohamed Daoud. Dadawi, sorry, for mispronouncing your name, Professor of Political Science at Oklahoma City. Thank you. Uh, thank you for your time.